Hi guy, welcome to B&B Spoilers and News Channel, today we will talk about CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, spoilers here and we're all set to start the week with some fun treats for what seems like a fun episode. After getting aggressive advice, Zenday Forrester wasted no time trying to ruin Carter Walton and Zoe Buckingham's date. Luckily his attempt seems to fail and he will be stuck thinking that Zoe chose Carter for him, which she should as he seeks a rebound relationship. True to the Foresters, Quinn Fuller plans one final strike at Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester, but she has a hurdle to overcome. Wyatt Spencer has had to come to terms with his mother's ploys on several occasions, and he will try to push her back before she does something she will truly regret. As Quinn is furious with Brooke's jubilation and her well-being, Brooke, she will begin to chart a new plan. It's understandable since she's been considered the bad guy from day one. Of course, she crossed some limits, but Brooke is far from an angel and she taunted Quinn as often as possible. Yet this time, Quinn's antics would likely catch Ridge too, and that's when Wyatt will step in and try to talk her out of it. CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, spoiler expects him to point out that she still has a chance to win Eric Forrester back, but not if she does anything to Brooke, and Ridge in particular. It may take some work, but we believe Wyatt will be successful and Quinn will support his idea for now. As CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, spoilers has mentioned several times over the past week, Zenday is focusing on lofty goals that are currently being held by someone else. One of them happens to be the one with Zoe on his arm, and he's been actively working to undermine Carter's efforts and his relationship with her. The latest one was just a text asking her not to commit to Carter. Well, it looks like technology is going to fail him and karma is going to take a good bite out of his ego. We believe that either her message didn't reach Zoe, either because of a technological failure, or she simply turned off her phone so that she could focus on Carter. The latter feels the most likely, which means she probably won't see him until she commits to Carter. Poor Zenday. Hopefully, he'll turn his bounce gaze on someone else and stop trying to undermine a friend. Or Carter will find out and the real fun can begin. How do you think things will go for Zenday and Quinn? In the CEO's office that evening, Hope was alone and still working when Brooke arrived to invite her daughter to dinner. Hope looked preoccupied, and Brooke asked what Hope was thinking. Hope said it was Thomas. Brooke asked suspiciously what had happened. Holding a design sketch, Hope revealed that Thomas had done it. Brooke thought it was good and asked which line it was. Hope explained that Thomas wanted another chance. Brooke assumed that Hope believed the luck was with HFTF but Brooke claimed that Thomas really wanted another chance with Hope. Hope explained that she felt more secure with Zenday as part of the mix and that she liked the idea of having a designer team. She said they had played their parenting roles well, and she truly believed that if anything had happened, she would have seen it by then. She felt Thomas was on the right track. Brooke joked that any way away from Hope was good with Brooke. Brooke wanted Thomas to improve for Hope and Ridge, but Thomas was hard to believe due to his past. Hope said she remains vigilant. Brooke was happy to hear it because there might still be a chance that Thomas was still obsessed with Hope. Brooke asked what Liam had to say, and Hope said Liam shared Brooke's concerns. Brooke thought Thomas's manipulations could be subtle, and advised Hope to tell Liam how Thomas acted on a daily basis. 
Brooke figured Liam might pick up things Hope might be missing. Hope said it was also possible for Thomas to commit to becoming a better person. Brooke advised Hope not to forget everything Thomas had done. Hope claimed that these things were always in her head, and Thomas knew it. This was the reason he wanted to prove he was in a stable and healthy place. Brooke said the problem was, no matter how hard Thomas tried, they would all wonder what was going on in his head. It was a shame and she felt bad for him. Correcting herself, she said she felt bad for the boy Thomas had been and wished she could turn back time to point him in the right direction. Hope asked what Brooke thought went wrong. Having Taylor as a mother, Brooke replied. Apologizing, she guessed she shouldn't be saying that. She guessed that there were a lot of things that could have happened, and once someone like Thomas was psychologically imbalanced, she wasn't sure that person could heal. In the design office, Zende looked at a sketch he had made of a model that looked like Zoe. Thinking of her, Julius walked in, assuming Zende was reviewing one hell of a robe. Julius recalled that Zende said he saw Nicole in every creation he made. Because the two were apart, Julius figured it was difficult for Zende to find inspiration. Julius noted that Zende left Paris very quickly. Zende said he intended to reach out. He recognized his promise to take care of Nicole and make her happy. Julius believed his daughters could take care of themselves, but he and Vivian hadn't taken Nicole and Zende's separation easily. Zende claimed he had always loved Nicole and wanted the best for her. Julius said he would always protect his daughter, but no matter what happened between Nicole and Zende, Julius would always be proud to call Zende his son. Zende humbly thanked Julius. Julius said the forwards never turned their backs on each other and were always connected, even apart. Julius thought Zende had a good heart and wanted the best for Nicole. Zende said Julius had been a great stepfather with words of wisdom. He was glad he could still ask Julius for advice. Julius pointed out that he had time at the time, if that was what Zende was referring to. Zende thanked Julius, but he said certain topics were off limits. Already going out, eh? Julius assumed. Zende claimed that was not it. Julius was sure that a handsome man like Zende attracted a lot of women's attention. Julius repeated that he was there for Zende if he wanted to talk about it. Zende said it was complicated. He wasn't dating, but there was a woman in Forrester. Julius joked about the complicated relationship then admitted the conversation was awkward because he wanted Nicole and Zende's wedding to go ahead. Zende claimed that he wouldn't have married Nicole if he hadn't thought they would be successful. Julius knew this and said Zende had been loving and supportive during the breakup. Julius said that if Zende and Nicole had agreed to move on with their lives, then Zende should do it, no matter how complicated it was. Zende questioned hurting someone else who was just as interested in the woman as he was. Julius asked if Zende should step aside to give another guy a chance. Julius asked if the other guy would be hurt more if he invested time and emotions in a woman better suited to Zende. Julius wasn't saying the woman was, but Julius asked if Zende owed it to himself and Zoe to find out. Julius decided to leave, but he hoped he had given Zende something to think about. Julius left, 
and Zende texted Zoe. He told her not to move too fast with Carter. Instead, Zende wanted her to make up an excuse to leave Carter's house and meet him at the office. While Zende waited, he watched the video of Zoe playing her song. At Carter's, Zoe complimented the meal she and Carter were having. Carter said he wasn't the best cook, but he knew how to hire one. He was glad she liked it because he was planning on taking many nights to show her what she meant to him. Zoe didn't have room for dessert, and Carter suggested that she have it later if she stayed a while. She said she had nowhere to be, and he decided that meant she could have more wine. She wondered why he was so good to her. He asked if she hadn't heard him say how much she meant to him. She said he meant a lot to her too, but she hadn't had much luck with men. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, share and subscribe.